Good morning, family. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Listen, I want to say this. <laughs> you know, I started to take the day off as well because I was like, you know, it's only one more day. But no, I was up. Uh, I, I, I had enough rest. I was twiddling my thumb by the end of last night. I woke up late in the midnight, around midnight. And um, I prayed and then I got up. I went into my office and I just started doing paperwork because, I mean, you know, there was no more relaxation. I didn't have a day. I'm not one who just sits still like that. I told you, I don't like to just sit idle. And if I do, it starts making me feel bad. But what I want to say is, you know, pe people say, um, don't work hard, work smart. Everybody got their little word salad that they say about things. But my little two cents, I'm going to tell you, people, God, hard work will pay off. Success don't happen overnight. So keep going. Don't never give up on yourself. Believe in yourself. You're going to have some hard days sometimes. Even when you're doing good and you accomplish your things, you're being successful, you may have some days where you just feel so beat down in your spirit and so low and so tired. It's okay to rest. You know, it's okay to rest. It's okay to relax, motivate yourself. And when you are actually achieving success, you know, going to school, getting a lot of degrees and stuff like that, you know, that's how can I say I ain't gonna say it's easy but true success is working towards financial freedom financial independence in my opinion and just being able to be your own be your own boss maintain your independence in life that's what people fight against I don't know why and that's what people envy when we all have the same 24 hours in the same day when we can do the same thing and so when you are working hard sometimes you and you are making accomplishments it don't be the fact that you're not doing something good. Sometimes it be what, what makes you feel down and be down sometimes is when you begin to learn how many envious eyes and evil rivalries that will raise up or that will start treating you some type of way as they see the successes that you're making. You know, um, I'm eating me a sweet purple sweet potato, by the way. This is my breakfast, a small purple sweet potato. And I got two more for lunch they're smaller well they're a little they're like three times the size the bigger ones y'all saw me put big i got not the huge huge one but the middle big one that's gonna be my lunch i made my own lunch so i like to if i can make my lunch i eat healthy and it's easy for me to just pop open a sweet potato and have at it right <laughs> but what what makes you feel what makes us feel down sometimes is when we really see how much envious rivalries people raise up just when they see our small accomplishment and it's like that's when people start falling off you know when um when i started my business a lot of people just fell all the way off not because i just pushed people off some their mindset couldn't grow with me some couldn't handle my success like and they, and they didn't come out and just say oh i can't take this oh i can't handle this what you want that baby but the the little digs that people take at your spirit that stuff weighs on you you don't constantly need people taking digs at your spirit because you know what I'm saying as you get older, you don't want you don't you don't got time for that drama and, and that now you want you want people around you, even if you don't agree on everything, but you want people you want to be in in relation with people or give give people access to you who make you feel good about growing in the right direction and who actually aid you and help you and assist you. You know, that's a, that's what we look for. So as you become more and more successful, you're going to, you, 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 you'll find a lot of people falling off from your life because they can no longer aid you in the direction that God is growing you into and, and primarily spiritually. And then it will also be physically, materially. But, um, you know, you got to just keep going. And then as you get, as you continuously grow and believe in yourself and accomplish things, you connect with other people who are also accomplishing things. Why? Because people who don't have nothing to lose, sometimes those be the main ones that's fighting against you and call, it could cause you to lose everything if you snap on them, you know? And so when you get around and start connecting with people who actually have built something for themselves and who have something to lose, they're going to operate differently. The whole energy, the whole vibe, everything will be totally different. And you may even, if it make friends with anybody, you may even have some ups and downs and stuff. But it'll be different. It'll be on a whole different level, y'all. So I just want to tell you and motivate everybody. Keep on, keep pushing, keep going, baby. I'm doing it. I'm keeping going. I ain't telling you nothing that I don't do myself. I keep going. I keep pushing myself, you know? And that's what you got to do success don't happen overnight god can change god has the power to change anybody's life in a blink of an eye god can change any of our lives 
in a blink of an eye, you know? But a lot of times, there were things that we needed to experience. There are things that we need to endure, to go through, to, so it helps process us, so it helps up, uproot things that are in us that may not be pleasing to God. So it helps us break our own strongholds or, or, or just help shape and mold us to where we need to be, you know? And there's some trials that actually get us to where we need to be, you know? So that's just my little two cents. Have a blessed day. If nobody told you that they love you today, your little country bunkin sister is telling you, I love you. There's only one of you in this whole world. You gotta love yourself first. Put yourself first. You only get one of you. There's only one of you. So you got to learn how to love on yourself. Put yourself first. And it's okay to take time to relax and, and, and boost up. It's okay to put you first. You know what I learned? I begin to learn. Sometimes people will pull on you and pull on you and pull on you if you allow them to. And never turn back around and say, hey, let me scratch your back some. You done been scratching my back. Let me scratch your back. Or, or turn around and say, hey, do you need anything? Is there anything I can do for you? You know, you've been helping me so much. You've been praying with me. You've been praying me through some hard times. Sometimes people don't never stop to think about that. So you got to think about yourself first. When you get, you know what I'm saying, when you find yourself getting tired or getting overwhelmed or you just, your body telling you you just need a break, take that break. Take that break. Even if you got to cancel some stuff and rearrange your schedule, put you first. There'll be another day. Once you get your rest and you can be your best self and you can be recharged. Put you first. I don't care how many obligations. Every now and then, sometimes if I get to the point I can have one of the busiest weeks, busiest month, so many different scheduled things coming up, contracts, things. But then there are times if I had to take a day of my body tell me, I'm tired. Mama, I'm tired. If it just ain't there, it just ain't there. I'm not going to force myself for money. I'm not going to force myself to, to push beyond what my body is telling me I need to do when I need rest. No, because there's another day. There's another day coming. And as long as I take care of me first and I got my health, health is the primary thing to wealth. You know, <laughs> once you got your health and strength, you is wealthy, baby. You is prosperous beyond what money could number. Yeah, that's just my little two cents. Have a blessed day. I love you. Go and be great in this earth. Let your light shine before men so they will know who your heavenly father is and want to honor him in the name of Jesus.